Hey there, it's Helen Hart Smith from the Heart of the Witches Path YouTube channel. And with me is Kathy. Hi, it's time for another top 10. Kathy, what top 10 are we going to cover today? Is, today is this is like the third one today. Or I know, was I a little too today, peppy? Maybe, I don't know. But Sorry. this top 10 podcast is the top 10 types of magic. Again, these are in no particular order. Correct. And just the top 10 that we could think of. Right. And now for types of magic, you're not, we wanted to, styles of magic might be a good word. What we're yeah. not going to cover is things like prosperity magic, protection magic. That's a whole other thing. This is like methods or styles of magic. Right. And, it, and it's not... A, I want to say denominations, and that is so not the word. We've done too many of these. <laughs> What's the word? Um, let's move on. Styles. Yeah. Styles. Okay, I'll think of it about the time we're done with the podcast. <laughs> right, okay. So, top ten, and um, at the top of our list, not necessarily our number one, but number one on the list, is sex magic. Definitely. There is a lot of energy that can be... Um, brought up during the act of sex. Um, sex can come in a lot of different forms. It can be just by yourself. It can be with your partner. And some people even do group sex magic. And that's where, cool. Where do we sign up? Yeah. I don't know. Um, <laughs> what's next? <laughs> your turn. Oh, right. It's my... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We try to make things even here. Ah, it went away. Oh, no. Oh, there it went. There, there. Sorry, we're using our technologies. Right. <laughs> um, food magic. Uh, a lot of us consider ourselves to be kitchen witches. Mm -hmm. And so we will uh, put magic into our cooking, into our right. food that we give to our families and the people that we love. Absolutely. Um, there's actually a company out there called Cucina Aurora that they make infused oils and uh, other food stuff. You mean like cooking oils? Cooking oils. Oh, mm -hmm. see, you don't share with me. Oh, I, it was on my list of Yule gifts to purchase last year. On your blog. Right. That you apparently didn't it read. It gets emails to me. I read it. <laughs> so anyhow, um, on all of her labels... Under the ingredients, the first ingredient that's always listed is love. Aww. And I love that. You because... know, now that you say that, I remember that being on your blog. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, I, and I'm not sure where you were going with this one, but the next one on the list is sympathetic magic, because really all magic is sympathetic. Mm -hmm. but, um, so I would assume that you mean using, um, like stones and herbs and oils to, uh, work with whatever the intention that you have. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Or if you're if you're going through a troubled time in your life, you might use a labyrinth to right. go through the, you know, that that's the sympatheticness. Right. Okay. okay. The next one is candle magic, probably one of the most popular yeah, forms of of magic that's out there. Uh candle magic, there are companies, some that we really love. Really really Hi, love. Jackie. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> Um, Jackie Smith, Coventry Creations. Yes. Uh, makes great, awesome, great awesome candles. candles. Yes. Um, so, yes, candle magic. I think we've all heard of it. We all understand it. Right. Have at it. Right. So, the next uh, topic on our list is bind runes. And in case you didn't realize from the word, it's involving runes and putting two or more of them together in a way to um, work towards your purpose. I've used them for my, my dog fence as a bind mm -hmm. rune. You can do health related yes, ones, health, transformation, um, protection. Right. You can make talismans that you carry on your person right. or um, talismans like we used for dog fences. Yeah. Um, dog fence is a protection fence. I just call it a dog fence. Right. Um, you can use a bind rune with a specially made oil that you can actually put, right. you know, draw you onto a, a person. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So bind runes are, um, they're very versatile. Right. But I would definitely recommend you making sure that you're not combining runes you don't mean to combine. So right. It's a big, know big your thing. Runes. you got to really know what you're doing. Know your runes. That's the big thing. Right. Because that's part of your intent. So. Absolutely. Um, the next kind of magic is instant magic. Right. <laughs> instant magic it's exactly what you think it is it's that it's that instant it's that blowing it's that i have a need and i don't have right. time to gather herbs and stones it's, and 
do a circle. Right. And it, you know, it's that magic that if you're coming up to a stoplight and you want it to turn green, you to turn it green. Right. It's that squat, squat, find me a spot right. when you're for searching parking. for a parking spot right. at the mall before Christmas. Right. Um, you know, those types of things, those instant magics, those protections, they're, yeah. you know, it's that spur of the moment. Yeah, I've had really good luck with it, too. Yes. Yeah. And Christopher Penzak does an entire book on instant yeah, magic that's book. incredibly In good. In case you didn't realize, we really like Christopher Penzak. No. <laughs> so, and the next app it brings us back to Jackie Smith, of course. Hex bags. Yes. And this does not necessarily mean you're going to hex somebody. It basically means you take a piece of cloth or a bag and you put herbs and stones and other items inside of it to work towards your intention and to use that bag as a focus for your magic. Right. And it might be something that you burn. It might be something that you drop. Right. I it dropped might be one something... for a job spell, and mm -hmm. that worked pretty well. Right. Um, I would think that a dream pillow is almost... Right. That's... It's along those same things. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's, that... it's a cloth container filled with various items to do magic. For a specific purpose. Right. Yes. Um, next would be like a talisman or an amulet magic. Which they're both very similar. Right. Um, but it it's... You know, I, I wear the Kunzite, and if, you know, and I, it's for balance and for grounding it, keeping myself grounded and centered, but I could imbue it with, you know, other things too, and wear it as a talisman, or I could make something and wear it as a talisman. Right. Which, what, which one's the one that you use as is, and which one is the one that you create? I think the talisman is something you create, and right. an amulet is something... So, that would be an amulet, amulet version. but if you made a bind rune necklace, that would be a talisman. Right, right. That be so, that would be magics. combining magics. Right. Oh! Right? You put some oil on it. Yes. Yeah. The next one on our list is herbal magic, and herbal magic can come in a lot of different forms. Um, you could make incense for a specific purpose and burn it. Right. You can put plant you matter do a in smudge stick and burn that. Right. right. You can put plant matter in water and or make oil. it tisane, um, or an elixir mm -hmm. um, to make a spray. Right. You can anoint candles again, combining magic. Right. But you can work with just herbs as well. Right. Or you could use plants planted around your yard. Exactly. Right. You know there are plants like the thistle that are um, for protection. You right. know you can plant thistle on your property to protect it. Right. The peony is actually a protection plant. There you go. So a lot of people have peony in their yard. They mm -hmm. don't know why. Yeah. Yes. And the last one on our list is weather magic. Mm -hmm. And not a lot of people dabble in this, I don't think. Um, it's easy to overdo or underdo it. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful. But weather magic is a type of magic. Definitely. So there you have it. Ten. Ten. Top ten. ten. Types of magic. If there's anything that you can think of that we missed, please let us know. We'd love or to hear from you. If you want to tell us about using one of these and how that worked out for you, let us know that too. Exactly. We love to hear from you people. It's awesome. Yes. So um, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. If you've learned something from our pot, from our top 10 list today, I wanted to say podcast. Right? Yeah. You did. <laughs> um, hit the like button. Definitely. So that's going to be it for now. Thanks for walking the path for a little while with us. And until next time. Blessed, Blessed be. be.